Hello, here is Baby Walker. Welcome to my channel again. In today's video, I have for you something special. In today's video, many of you have asked for it. We will create our own voice completely from scratch. Yes, we use a mic to record sample. Then we use a Yamaha extension manager software to install this voice into Yamaha. So we will be able to play this sample. So if you are interested in just stay tuned and we will start very soon. Okay, so as I said, we mostly will be using this expansion manager software. This software could be, you know, downloaded for free from Yamaha website. If you have problem finding it, just check the description. I will put a link where you can download it. Okay, so if you are watching my channel for quite some time, uh, you may have heard or watched the video where I was uh, adding the PSRS 670 uh, with the machine file exported using USB drive and so on. Today I will show you the fastest way how you could do it. Now my Yamaha is enabled and it's connected using USB printer cable so it's connected using MIDI and MIDI is enabled. So uh, the only thing that you need to do is press this plus and search for instrument and you are waiting waiting and after a few seconds probably yes our PSR 975 has been found uh, now it's a good time to you know compare the memory space as you can see here is over almost 800 megabytes and here is only 30 so it's one of one of the biggest disadvantages of this PSR S670 there's a limited space for you know your own uh, wave uh, size samples, uh, styles, packs, and so on. So actually the memory size is much more bigger in this flagship model. Okay, so what we will be doing next. Now I pre will record a wave file completely from zero, uh, from scratch. And to do this, I will start uh, free software out of city, which you have also may seen on my uh, channel. All right, so checking the recording device. We will be recording from Focusrite, analog one plus two. Uh, output will be the looper uh, because looper is mixed with the um, Focusrite control, as you can see here. Uh, so everything I set here or here play or use the looper will be sent back to loop back this uh, virtual uh, device which is recorded by OBS studio okay so stop this if you are interested in configuring all of this stuff just give me a comment and I will create okay so now we will record something uh, you can basically record your sample with any key, standard pitch. Of course, it have to be in key, some key, in some it have to represent some sound, some note, because without it, you won't be able to record, and we will be complete out of tune. C, C, C. So I will try to do something at the beginning. C, <coughs> C. Okay, it will be horrible, maybe. C. This C is for my bass um, tone, bass note, so... Hey... Let's listen it. Hey... Nothing fancy. It was recorded in stereo. One file is from one mic, the second is from my backup mic here, but I will switch those tracks into mono. I will discard those, and this one using effect, using uh, normalize, I will normalize to zero and I will of course cut this beginning using delete and let's leave this sustain for a moment and listen it. Hey! Nothing fancy, it's only hey in C. But what can we do now? As you can see it's mono, 44 kilohertz the sample rate and 32 bit uh, as the resolution of the sample. So now I will hit file, export, export audio to will save the WAV file. Of course, if you have your WAV file somewhere, you don't have to record it. You can download from internet sample and then use it to create your own. Uh, okay, so let's, in music, okay, let's call it Hey, Hey C. Okay, 
saved. And now we go to Yamaha extension manager, which is here. I have testing something here, but all my packs has been deleted because I want to show you all the steps that you need to do from the beginning. Sorry, on a moment, I will hit this, hide this window. All right, so now we hit um, my packs. Nothing is here. We are clicking this plus in here, create pack, create pack data. Okay, pack 001. We could hit this context and rename it. Let's call it BB pack hay. Uh, this uh, name is important because if you mix some packs, uh, then it will be the folder name on the instrument. So pack hay. Okay. And now this pack is completely empty. You can, of course, take some extension packs from producer website or buy it somewhere. But here we are building completely from scratch. So here is the content of the pack. We are clicking plus create normal voice. Normal voice is the voice like piano or any other guitar, whatever you have. Drum voice is, of course, like a drums, like in pads. So ev every sample is different. In normal voice, we are loading one sample or two sample, depending on the velocity. We, we have a lot of options here, but I will show you the basic, the simplest way at the beginning. So creating a voice, we are waiting. And normal voice has been created. Nothing fancy, but so let's rename it and let's call it Hey. If you have a content icon, if you have PSR 975, you can select icon. It's cool because um, it will be shown in the, the in the screen. So maybe something, something. Okay, the guy with the mic. Okay, hey. And now we need to click here and edit voice. So we are clicking. This is uh, only a um, you know, warning that in this instrument, because I have two inst instruments in, uh, imported, some uh, stuff won't be available, but don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here is the key um, when we load the wave. As you can see now, the basic is C3. In my recording, in a moment, I was in this key, So, but if you have a sample recorded on any other key, like the E string or the guitar, we maybe also make such an example, you could change it here, when is the original key. Sorry. I will load the sample for the beginning, so we, we click again here, this plus, and we selecting Hey C. And as you can see now, the whole volume here and here is the range of the how many octaves your sound will be so for very low c2 up to g8 so our hey will be on the whole keyboard from here to here as you can see it automatically sent me because if we check this uh, digital keyboard is the midi and it will be sent to all your drivers so now it's mixed because uh, I have selected Grand Piano, so you can test it for a moment here. There is Hey and my uh, Grand Piano. If you want, you can change, ma you, you can upload many other WAV files to many uh, touch settings. So this is the quiet and this is the loudest. As you can hear now, if I press in the hardest, there is nothing because on this represented area, we get covered whole keyboard and whole sensitivity. So this is the, the volume. There will be always sound. You can, of course, decrease and load another sample if you like. But maybe, maybe uh, let's do it in this simple way. Some volume. Here you have some things that you could do, like amplitude for the hey. So by the amplitude, you can make some pitch changes and so on. So it's a lot of things that you could you could parameterize here, like LFOs and filters and envelopes, shapes. Uh, but for the moment, let's leave it. 
and click this icon of this disk to save it and go back. Uh, so now we have our pack with one voice hey. And uh, now maybe let's record in another in another in another sample. So let's delete this. Let's take the guitar. Why not? Oh sorry. We got E string here, so I will record this E string. And I will use it as a sample. Okay. So as the previous stuff split into mono, delete this one. Uh, let's normalize it at the beginning to zero. And then we need to cut it so you can zoom in. Delete. Of course, you can apply some effects here. This is our E string. And let's leave it until this nice sound at the end. It will be natural, more interesting. So let's export this audio. Export audio. Nylon A. It was my previous sample testing, but I will replace it again because this recording is much better in, you know, my opinion okay so let's close it let's go back to our pack and create another normal voice creating a voice let's rename it rename bb classic guitar okay icon why not it's fancy Classic guitar is in here, okay. Edit voice. And again, load the wave, nylon E. And we have it, so let's save it. Uh, okay, don't mess with this. Of course, there is also, a, a, you can put layer over layer, so you could create your voice that is created from many elements on the li la left side, you have seen it. But I want to make this video fast, so maybe if you are interested in more details, just give me a comment. Okay, so we have now it ready. I have installed the USB memory stick and the computer now. So what do we, ha what have we to, what you need to do now? So we click here and we click export pack if we want to export it into file code PPF. But you can also but if you don't want to export into file uh, to give someone cert over internet, you can automatically prepare an installation file for the device. So to do this, you are going into target device. So you are selecting the instrument that you want to install it. This pack is checked. So this, so this pack will be included in our pack install file and those voices will be included. You can select them or Enable, disable, so include into pack or remove from my pack. So the voices are in pack, but if you are creating a pack file, pack file, you can select which one you go go to this pack. Of course, you can also mix from different packs because everything depends on the memory. Here is the estimated uh, size of this pack. It is 11 megabytes, not quite big. So now let's click save as pack install file and we will save it on a Kingston. Let's call it BB pack. PPI. Okay, so there is was a warning that this installation won't be uh, possible if we are uh, if we don't have enough space because it doesn't know how many uh, megabytes we are now uh, on the device. But forget it. Okay, so we have this installed and now I will remove this memory stick and we will connect into Yamaha. So please stay tuned. All right, so now we are in 
the Yamaha PSR. So we have connected the USB memory stick. We are clicking function. We are going to menu two to pack installation. And here is our pack, BB pack. So we are clicking install. There is, of course, a warning. Would you like to save it, etc. Yes, OK, and please wait. All the expansion content will be deleted. Would you, would you like to continue? Yes, because you, have, you can have only one expansion installed. And thanks to the software on a computer, you could uh, decide which expansion packs goes into one pack installation file. Please check the, the video in the description. There is uh, more examples when I'm doing it. So now we are waiting, executing and so on and so on. It's completed and the device will be restarted. So we are waiting to restart of the device. And in a moment we should be able to play our two voices. As I remember, the first one, the hey, and the, so the vocal, and second was the the nylon guitar, classic guitar. Okay. So device is restarting. I am I am not cutting this video because I would like to show you all the process. Okay, and how to load our voices from expansion pack. So we are going here into expansion user and here is the our pack name this folder so we are entering it and we see two voices hey and the classic guitar so we are selecting first hey hey this is original c3 it's our hey but hey 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 we can play chord hey 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 so this is basically how it works. Let's check the guitar. And on the guitar there is a mistake because I forget to change the root note from C to E. Actually there is a mess in the chords. You can hear it now. So now we will go again into computer and we will fix our work. So stay tuned. Okay, so I was so excited about this new voice, so I forget to change it. But don't worry, it's very simple. We are going here, uh, because I would like to show you how to edit voice also, how to do this again from scratch and so on. So, you are here. Everything is in memory, in your computer. So you are clicking again your voice. Uh, sorry, but you need to go to my packs, and then you click your classic guitar, and then click edit voice. And we are here, and as you can see now, this C3 need to be changed to E3 because our nylon guitar bass sound, this was the E string of the guitar, the toughest, the, the, the biggest string in a guitar. So our voice original key is E3 of the sample. So we are saving and we are going back. And now we need to repeat the process. So I will need to take the memory stick again, install to computer, go to target device, loading instrument data, and save installation pack file. We could save it on the same file again, replace, OK, confirm, created, uh, maybe use the safe removal of the device, eject, OK. Now we are repeating everything again from this perspective you will see everything here so maybe i will change the camera all right so very simple function menu number two pack installation bb pack install okay please wait okay okay Ugh, yeah okay okay and we are waiting now so Maybe under this mic. Something is wrong with the light. Okay, we are needed to wait. Everything is going, going, going. Of course, you don't. You cannot dis disable the device when it's formatting and this memory is is safe. Okay, restarting. So soon we will be ready. 
how is my new camera set up? I get now two mics in parallel, so I think the quality of the audio will be much better because it doesn't matter if I say here or here. Those two condenser mics are working. Okay, so we have... Let's go to... Expansion user BB Pack Classic Guitar. Yes, and now it's working. C major, G minor, E minor, E major. As you can see this... Because if I... Of course, it's, it's touch sensitive. All the time, it's touch sensitive. I could play it hard or light. But if I hold it, this moment again. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. You get the idea. Uh, I hope you like this video, so let's summarize. If you have any wave file in 44k hertz and you want, it's mono file, of course, the, the, the voices uh, are the shapes, the wave file are uh, mono file, so you could use it. And with this uh, Yamaha extension manager to load it into your instrument and play it like a sample in DLW software, but you get full keyboard. This is installed in the memory. You don't need USB drive because it will be, you know, always there. And hey, hey, hey. you can use it, whatever you want, to record your samples, to do some nice stuff with synth, maybe grab some samples from other devices. If you remember my video when I was explaining three possible way how to connect computer to keyboard, there was a scenario, a third if I remember well, when I was, you know, giving you an example when you could grab some instrument from someone, borrow it, record samples into waves and then use it in DLW, but you could also take these waves and put, for example, Jupiter 8 sample synth here. Of course, they will be audio wave, not a fully featured synthesizer, but you will get some licks to play. <laughs> To have some fun and so on and so on you can also make could make a uh, drums uh, so that each wave will go to another sample you could also layer them depending on the volume the, the touch sensitive so if you press light the another way could wave could be played instead of one from the whole range from zero to 100 percent in the volume in the in the strength <laughs> So if you like this video, please give me a like, please subscribe my channel if you don't do this. And if you have any questions or maybe some kind of, you know, things that you can see here and would like to you know how to use, don't hesitate to contact me. It was BB Walker. See you later. Hey, 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 hey.